next comment coming to the stage is our final debut of the night, so a lot of love and support for the very funny Sangreal Smith! <laughs> Wow, New York City, I cannot believe I'm here. I'm from Alabama, so that's kind of a big deal for me. So, growing up, my dad always drilled into my head that New York City is the place that you want to go if you want to get murdered. <laughs> and he wouldn't just simply say, oh, it's dangerous. He would say something like, you'll be walking down the street and someone will just grab you and throw you in the back of an unmarked van with New Jersey plates. Now... I don't know about y'all, but that seems like a really eerily precise scenario. <laughs> On the way to the club tonight, I actually saw an unmarked van with New Jersey plates. <laughs> and there was a man standing in the back, and I was like, oh my god, dad? <laughs> he actually trained me for the experiences that I might encounter in New York. For instance, he told me that I should always carry a tube sock filled with hundreds of quarters at all times. <laughs> and I was like, why, Dad? So I have change to give to the homeless? He's like, no, so you can beat off your attacker. And I was like, okay. So I have a tube sock. <laughs> um, also, my dad was so certain that I would be kidnapped that he actually took me to the local high school parking lot and literally physically showed me how to roll out of a moving vehicle. <laughs> so, I know how to do that now, if the vehicle is going three miles per hour. <laughs> now, I don't want y'all to think that my dad hated New York City. Right? He did not hate New York City. He actually reminded me that I could be kidnapped at any time, anywhere, not just New York. Right? So, he enrolled me and my siblings in karate. And in order to test our defensive skills, he told us that he was going to hire actors to attack us. And we would not know when, we would not know where. They could be actors, they could be the real deal. So be ready. So recently I went to a Broadway play, right? The curtain goes up, I see the actors, and I'm like, hi -ya! <laughs> All right. The first day of kindergarten, I'll never forget, the teacher says, you know, tell me one thing that, that you learned from your parents. One little girl says, I've learned how to tie my shoes. And another one says, I learned how to spell my name. And I said, I learned how to sit with my back to the wall so as to always keep an eye out for the enemy. <laughs> My dad owns a used car lot. It's called Richard's Used Car Lot. And when I called him to tell him that I was coming to New York City, he was did not give me the doomsday speech that I expected. Instead, he said, New York City? I have a car that I need to repossess in New York City. Could you pick that up for me while you're there? And I was like, no, Dad, that's freaking dangerous. And he's like, when did you get to be such a fraidy cat? <laughs> so, recently, I was in line at Target in customer service, and I was standing behind this lady and her boyfriend, and they were just going at it. it I was feeling very uncomfortable. The lady stops. She abruptly turns to me, and she points her finger at me. She says, don't you get between me and my baby. And I'm like, is there somebody behind me? And she goes, no, you. I'm talking to you. Don't you get between me and my baby over there. As I turn and I look and I see a literal baby in a shopping cart at least 50 yards away. <laughs> she says, I tell it like it is. And I don't like you get between me and my baby. I can't see my baby. And I said, I tell it like it is too. And you've got that baby too freaking far away from you. And anybody in an unmarked van with New Jersey life can freaking take that baby. Thank y'all.